Hey guys, so today is going to be a really short video on how to achieve this caviar nail look. I tweeted you guys a picture and I Facebook a picture and I also put it on my Lux website of um, a picture of these nails and actually I think I inst put it on Instagram and I had so many people ask me for a tutorial. So this is just going to be a quick video showing you guys how to do it. So if you're interested in this nail look, go ahead and keep watching. First I'm going to apply two coats of this base coat. This is from Sinful Colors, it's just a basic base coat. It's the opaque one, it kind of is in like a frosted glass bottle. Okay, so once you actually have the base coat and it is semi-dry on the nails, as you can see, it kind of gives like an, a little opaque color. I really like that base coat. Um, you're going to choose a nail polish, and normally you can do just one nail polish. is not that big of a deal, like one color, but I really wanted to show you guys how these beads take the color of every nail polish that you put on. So, I'm using all of my Wet n Wild nail polishes. This is I Need a Refreshment. This is Tropicalia. This is Sugar Coat, this is On a Trip, and then this is Candylicious. So I'm just going to do um, one coat of each color on each of my nails and then that way you guys can see what one coat looks like. So for the micro beads, I'm using this brand here. It's the um, Recollections brand. This I got from Michael's Craft Store. It is just the micro beads in the color clear. Um, I don't know if you can buy this online or not, but I showed this in a haul video, and I absolutely love these beads. I feel like they're perfect for micro beading, obviously, or I mean caviar nails because obviously they're micro beads. But these are clear, and they kind of adapt to any any color polish so it works out perfect because this was only $3.99 and I think I used a 40% off coupon so for like $1.75 you can get pretty much any kind of caviar colored nail you like and they have like a rainbow tint to them I doubt the lighting is picking it up but they have like a iridescent glow to them so yeah this is absolutely perfect and I love the top of it because it has a sifter and then an actual hole to pour out the um, micro beads. And then I'm also going to use just a little bowl. Anything really to catch the excess beads is going to work perfect. Once I've applied one, one coat already and kind of let it get tacky a little bit, I'm going to go in and apply a second coat right on top. And as soon as I put that second coat, I'm going to take the micro beads and just dump it all over it, over this bowl like this. And you can apply it kind of thickly because it really doesn't matter. Once I've applied that second coat, I'm going to take my bowl, like I said. I'm going to hold my thumb over the bowl. And I'm just going to take the like unfiltered side of the microbeads and dump it right over the nails. And as you can see, like the bowl catches the excess. And then um, the wet polish has taken all of the actual little microbeads. So... The way that I feel like makes it stick really well is once the micro beads are on there, zoom you guys in so you can see a little bit better, I kind of touch the top of it just like this to make sure that the beads are even on the top and then I go around and I kind of just very lightly dab my finger over the rest of it so it can sit in that wet nail polish. So that looks pretty good. I'm just going to go ahead and do that same technique to all of the other nail polish colors and then I'll show you guys what I do for a top coat. So that's the finished nail look here as you can see I'll zoom in for you guys but as you can see the um, nail polish actually or the micro beads actually stick to any of the colors which is really cool like I mean this is a red and a pink and a purple so and you can tell like they're all they all look like they have the same micro beads on top of them meaning like the color of them so I really like the clear micro beads I feel like it's very universal and versatile 
Um, it's super inexpensive and you can do numerous amount of looks with this. You could even do designs and stuff like that if you wanted to. So that is how I do the caviar nails. What I do after this is I go ahead and put a top coat. This is just OPI top coat. So I'll take a glob of the um, top coat and just, I'll show you here, just like whatever comes on the brush and just kind of dab it all along the nail like that and then sweep it on and kind of hit the ends like this so that you don't have anything coming off. So at first it looks kind of like, when I first did this and I saw the way that the top coat was came out over the beads, I was like, oh, it's not gonna be pretty. I don't really like the way that it looks, but it actually holds them in and secures them pretty well and I like the finish of it. It doesn't make them look, it makes it look like all one nail instead of multiple little beads stuck on your nails. Alright, so that is the finished nail look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you found that it was super simple. Like I said, definitely go check out Michael's for the micro beads. I mean, you're more than welcome to pick up, you know, multiple colors if you like. But I just feel like clear beads, as you can see, pretty much take to any color um, in that you could ever want. So I feel like it's a perfect solution for really inexpensive to create this really neat manicure. So if you guys have any questions or comments, don't, for, don't forget to leave them down below. If you have attempted this nail look, either tweet me a picture, uh, Facebook me a picture, or leave a video response down below if you have a video talking about it. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in my next video.